Hey, what's up, everybody? And we're back with another video for you today. It's Joey Bags, your favorite unknown sim racing YouTuber. And today's video, well, tonight's video is an announcement I actually saw online. So I was scrolling Facebook real quick, and I, I'm part of uh, Next Low Racing's uh, group since I own their Challenger cockpit. And tonight, they posted that they have a new chassis out. And it's this, the Go-Kart Plus chassis. As soon as I saw this, I was like, holy shit. This is effing awesome. So I go in, I start doing my obligatory clicking, checking it out, seeing what's what, and you know, who's who, what's what, how much. And I mean... This is awesome. As I mean, you can see here the picture scrolling through. Um, we're talking a full go kart chassis that supports a DD wheel and pedals. So, uh, from their website, let's read a few of their the leading features. Designed for go kart style racing and general set of racing games. Custom designed go kart style seat with included premium fabric cover. That red and black. Uh, Diamond pattern they have going on there is actually kind of nice. Uh, compatible with a wide range of entry level to the direct drive wheels. So easily, if you've got a G29, you can throw it on there. That's awesome. Low cost. If you're a Thrustmaster fan and you've got a T248, a four, uh, the 488 Ferrari replica wheel. Um, if you have the TMX, if you've got the TG, T2... Um, you know, those entry levels, you can throw it on there. If you have, um, entry, if you have one of the lower spec, uh, DD, something like a Moses R3, which is Xbox compatible, 3.9 peak torque, uh, newton meters. Oh, with their pet, with a pedal set with the SRP light pedals. I think that's super awesome. I even think they might have a picture of that here. Oh, no, I think that's their. R5, but still, you know, the R3, the R5, the R9, the R12, easily throw it on there. You can see they've got the Thrustmaster 818 with probably the TCLMs on there, the load cell pedals. So you've got options. Uh, it comes with lockable casters. It's designed for kids and adults from 3'7 to 6'7. I mean, that's a pretty good range and up to a 40-inch waist. Well, my 44-inch waist is going to shove himself in there. Uh, adjustable seat, wheel, pedal position to suit a wide range of usage, which kind of goes with that whole uh, range of uh, heights. Uh, comes with a go-kart bumper kit and stickers, which I think is awesome. There's the bumper kit. Let's get some pictures of the stickers I think they have along in the back. Um, I wonder if they're going to give me enough letters so I can put Joey bags or just bags and my 28 back there. So there you go. You've got that. And it's compatible with a wide range of wheels and pedals, including Thrustmaster, Logitech, Fanatec, and Moza. So, you know, I'm taking a look at this. And honestly, the first thing that comes to mind is family time. So, I mean, I know I really don't talk about it too much, but I'm a dad. So I'm a... I'm a gamer dad. I'm a sim racer dad. I have two boys, five and ten. And some of the most fun that we have is when we game together. I mean, that's just like some great family time there. Uh, there are plenty of times they'll come into my office where I've got my sim rig set up, my next level racing challenger cockpit. Um, you know, my oldest, he's a little bit taller, so... I can adjust things on here because it's so adjustable. Uh, I can get him into kind of a comfortable position. I might have to throw a couple of pillows under his little butt, you know, to get his eyes, you know, to get his eye line up a little bit higher. But he has a ton of fun in here driving Daddy Simri. And the little one, uh, he's five. So, so it's a, he's a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit more difficult. But usually he'll have to sit on my lap and, you know, I'll work the pedals and he kind of works the steering wheel. And, you know, it's fun for a few after a minute, you know, little butt kind of hurts on the thigh. So when they're sitting there, you know, it's a little uncomfortable. But, you know, something like this where, you know, you have a nice wide range of adjustability. And if, you know, you plan accordingly and you use some of those 
quick adjusting um, bolts and nuts so that way you can at least change, you know, with the, the pedal tray distance and, you know, quickly enough so that way you're not, you know, taking a half hour to switch between kids. I mean, having a, an additional setup like this is just awesome for family time. You know, so not only can the two of, you know, the two or three of you all race at the same time, you know, you can kind of have like a little corner or if, you know, you have the space in the garage or an extra room, you know, just kind of have it set up where they can use it. You know, you've got yours, you know, set them up back to back, side to side, you know, and that's just great family time there. I mean, and really in the way things are nowadays, what you really want is, you know, to build those memories and have that family time, that togetherness. And if you're able to include the hobbies that you really enjoy, you know, and include your kids into that, oh, there's like no better feeling. I mean, I love seeing my kids' faces light up when it's like, come on, you know, it's game time. Or, you know, dad, can we use the, you know, the swim ring? Like, yeah, come on, let's adjust it. You know, and it's this, that's, that's just, it's like so hard to explain, you know, how much that means to them and to myself. I mean, because it's like, words can't describe that feeling so something like this just is awesome it really is awesome that it opens that aspect of you know being able to share that hobby with them you know because you know it's a small easy to you know get together compact you know system you know i consider building them uh, a small kid size sim rig but <sighs> life happens you know Weekends doing this, school nights, you know, making dinner, getting homework done, you know, things kind of get away from you. You don't have a lot of time. Being able to just order this, well, yeah, it might be a little bit pricey at that five ninety nine, but I believe it has free shipping. If we click into here, I think it's got free shipping. So, yep, free fast delivery. So, I mean, it's one of those things where you kind of have it, you set it up, and you're good to go. And what's also awesome is like if you have gatherings, you know, your friends come over, the boys come over, you know, and you've got it, you know, bring it out to the living room. And it's like, oh, you know, we've got our own little, you know, top gear test course here. So, you know, you put up your times. We're going to all do a practice lap around this, you know, this one track and we're going to put up our scores. And, you know, whoever has the fastest score you know, or whoever comes in with the with the slower speed has to buy around the drink. So, you know, and I mean, just the opening up of possibilities of enjoying your hobby with others with this i think is what i'm pushing the most because i think that's an aspect that doesn't get looked at often and i think is awesome usually you know sim racing tends to be uh, you're you're by yourself you know, in wherever you are in your sim rig. And yeah, you might be playing online with other people. You might be chit-chatting with other people. But being an old school gamer from back in the day, I mean, some of the best memories I have are with, you know, a bunch of my friends sitting in front of the, the Nintendo 64, each of us with a controller in our hand, playing GoldenEye and just walloping each other and just smack talking and just having fun. I really feel like this cockpit here at its size, you know, can kind of bring back that feeling that, you know, we've had from back in the day. Um, it has some great features. It has a lot of adjustability. I mean, it gives you potential to use a lot of different wheelbases. Um, me personally, since I'm big into PXN's V12, since I'm loving this, uh, this setup, and the fact that it's cross compa uh, cross compa platform compatible with both Xbox and PlayStation. So, I mean, I could get another six Newton meter bundle because, I mean, you really don't need a lot, especially if you can have kids or, you know, people that may not be accustomed to using a direct drive unit using it. You know, I think six is more than enough, especially for a rim, uh, rig of that size. You know, set that up with the wheel the base, the pedals that it comes with, and the fact that now I can just plug it into my Xbox, plug it into my PlayStation. It's, you know, they're in the living room and we're having fun, you know, and really that's what it's about. So, I mean, it has awesome features. Uh, it's a, got a bunch of adjustability. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. 
I'm going to this page. Let's see what are the little pinpoints that we can uh, discuss here. All right, so let's go with the box. It's the, the frame and the seat, which is actually a really nice looking frame, uh, seat, locking casters, and also the flat adjust height adjustable feet. Uh, it comes with a bumper kit, as you see in the picture there. Seat sliders, which that is awesome. I would, trust me, I would also try to stick that seat on my, <laughs> on my uh, Simri and try to figure it out somehow. Um, Go kart plus seat cover, which I believe is that, you know, red and black uh, seat cover that you see there, and it comes with a butt kicker mount, with a uh, butt kicker mount, which is kind of awesome if you want to add that extra level of immersion. I would probably go a step further, and I would probably add in next level racing's a uh, haptic seat cushion. That would probably be a lot more fun. Uh, you know, would make that like extra fun. Um, let's go back. I saw some place here that. And I think I touched on it earlier. Yeah, so it looks they have a Cart Plus Motion Adapter Kit. So if you want to hook up their motion platform, which I believe is for traction loss and maybe... Oh, you know what? I don't know which one. Since they have a few of them, uh, they have the Seat Mover. Actually, you know what? While we're here... Let's go, and here, yeah, let's go to the motion simulation. So if you can use this with that, that's kind of awesome. Let's take a look at their, uh... all right, so here we go. So this is what I was talking about. So they have their motion plus platform. I actually like this one here all the way to your left. Uh, you'll hook that up and it's got, it gives you left, right. So yaw and pitch. Um, the middle one is their seat moving platform. I don't know. I mean, I guess you might be able to use that in conjunction. What I was talking about, before, you know, before was their traction plus platform here, which gives you uh, traction loss. So that's actually really cool. If you can adapt any of these or a combination of these to that cart, I mean, yeah, the prices are a little up there, but that's an extra level of immersion that's super cool. Um, so, I mean, guys, I don't know what more I can say other than, I mean, I don't have one. Uh, uh, Next Level Racing, hey, if you're listening or you're, or you're watching, uh, if you want to send me one, I'll sign the line on the delivery. <laughs> I'll put it together. And trust me, they'll, I'll inundate YouTube with a ton of videos because, I mean, I honestly think it's super awesome. Oh, my goodness. So I just started scrolling down reading. So built for personalization, the next low racing go-kart. Uh -huh, it's iconic design. Add your race numbers, number 28. Uh, expand your racing units with accessories like the go-kart go plus direct monitor mounts. Dude. If they have, do they have, oh, compatible MLR products, all right. Oh, they don't have a click to the uh, direct monitor mount. Oh my goodness, that would be so freaking awesome. Throw in a 34 inch ultra wide or maybe even a, the 49 inch ultra wide or if you want to be baller like uh matt malone and his uh samsung uh sponsorship and use that samsung neo g9 57 inch ultra wide Oof, that is kind of cool i can say i mean at that point we're kind of hitting upper levels of you know, awesomeness there if we're, you know, we're running motion and, you know, $3,000 monitors, but hey, that's kind of baller. That's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, let's see here. Up to 13 newton meters of uh, strength on a direct drive that you can throw up there. And I mean, it has a ton of adjustability. You know, we'll go back, look at the pedals. You've got forward and back 
tons of space. Uh, the wheel plate, as you see, it has, you know, up and down. It's got tilt. Uh, actually, pretty good uh, degrees of motion. There. I mean, honestly, this thing just looks super adjustable. Uh, I'm super excited about it. I'm just got to figure out how I'm going to get a uh, hold of this because I really would like to try this thing out. Um, don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be, especially when we're just looking at the website and drooling over the uh, the items. But yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I mean, I, I, I'm begging you guys. I really want to, you know, make this channel grow. I want to grow the community. Uh, Sunset Sim Racing, I want to make it a thing. And I can only make it a thing with your help. I'm trying to bring you, you know, as much content as I can. Stuff that, you know, I feel I would love to hear about, you know, and get an opinion on. Um, I, I want to, I'm bringing that to you guys. So like, sub, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you get a chance and you want to continue supporting, you can go to sunsetsimracing.com. That's my website. Uh, I've got a blog where I have some, a few stories up, you know, some blog posts about different things. And there you go, the PXN, their uh, wheelbase, uh, how much I'm loving that. I've got links to the YouTube videos. Um, there's a few links here from my detailing channel, actually Dragonfly Detailing Co. If you want to check that out on YouTube also. Uh, I have a review of my cockpit, my Challenger cockpit, and also how I clean the uh, steep. And I also have a video on how I clean, keep my steering wheel clean. Uh, well, my Logitech G29 steering wheel and the products I use on that. So, yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll check you out on the next video. Peace.